guys, so today I'm going to be doing a January favourites video. It's kind of, actually I think it's, it's like the 3rd of January anyway, so it's probably going to go up like a week late. Um, but I've got so many products I want to share with you guys and um, like literally like you need to know about half of these products, like they're literally insane. So I'm going to start off with my tan because I think I get so many questions about my tan. I'm doing a fake tanning routine very soon. Um, but I have two new products that I literally like need to tell people about. So the first one is the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Foam. Now this literally just came out. So I always do my tan like really late, like at nine o'clock at night or something. And I get into bed straight away and I'm so sticky. Like I can't even explain how sticky I am. And it's just disgusting and I can smell it and it's just, it's horrible. So I thought I'd try this out. You basically put this on your skin and I feel like it dries really quick. Like you don't even feel that sticky. And obviously this one you can wash off in an hour. I like being like proper dark so I leave this on for like all night. It just don't feel sticky at night which I just think is just amazing. And also it's got a different like head which is like this and it's so weird. So when you squirt it out it literally like expands when it goes into your skin. Okay. This next product I don't think anyone really knows about. It is the Bondi Sands Wash Off Instant Tan. So I usually tan for like one Pacific day. So say for example I was like going out like on a Saturday night. I do my tan for that Saturday night and then for the next week it'll be coming off my skin, it'll be looking disgusting, it'll go like tiger bread, like legit, it'll literally look like tiger bread. And all for that one night. Found this, this is wash off tan, so you spray it on yourself and it's on you and then you wash it off and then you're back to pale, which I think is like the best alternative for me. I can just use this now, instead of all the faff I go to to do a proper tan, that will last me like three, four days and then it's just horrible and I feel so disgusting for like another week until it all comes off. So this is so dark, like this is me saying it's dark, which to me is amazing because I find it so hard to find a tanning product that is actually dark. The only thing is it smells so weird, like it smells like spices, like nutmeg and stuff. So the first makeup product I've got is these eyelashes from La Air, La Air, I, I literally have a problem with pronouncing stuff, like I honestly can't pronounce words. This is La Ella, La Ella, La Ella, oh my god, La Ella, oh, La Ella, La Ella, London lashes. So I've actually used my favourite lashes up and I actually lost one of them. So I'm waiting for some new ones to come, but my favourite shade is in Coco. Get yourself the shade Coco. I'll put a picture of it on the screen now, literally, you know like on Instagram you see those like selfies and they're like, their makeup are like insane and they've got like amazing lashes on, they are the lashes, like, oh shit, like literally that's the lash, oh my god, you basically just need to get yourself those lashes because they're literally insane. So I know in one of my makeup videos I said I just buy like um, cheap ones from Amazon that are like 63p, um, so I thought that was like good until I got these. These are I think £10. I've used them like literally like 20 times, like I'm not even kidding. They're reusable, they're so much easier to put on, like like I can, they're so easy to put on. But they just literally just mould onto my eyebrows. Eyebrows? What? They mould onto my eyes. So another favourite of mine is actually my friend's. It's the um, MAC Gold Deposit Skin Finish. She left it at mine and I can't stop using it. I put on my normal bronzer anyway and then I put this over top and it just literally just makes my skin look so good. The only thing is though, I put it on my forehead and it makes my forehead look so good but it makes it look so shiny obviously because I've got a shit ton of glitter all over my forehead. But I mean I really like that. It make, I feel like it makes my skin look really clear even though it's really not clear. Yeah, it's just such a good bronzer. Um, it kind of like acts as a highlighter as well. Like, I don't know, it's really orangey though, which is perfect for me because it matches my tan. So my next, oh my god, my next beauty favourite. Like again, all these things, you just need to go buy like these. Melted Matte Too Faced. Shit, have I got lipstick on my teeth? Oh my god, I don't. These are honestly the best lip products I've ever used in my entire life. And these are the only lip products I'm ever going to use in my life. Like. I think I have the same lip product on in every single video, every single Instagram picture, every time I go out, this is all I use. So the lipstick I use every single day is Child Star, like, I use this every single day. They smell 
so good and they just they're matte yeah but they just go on so easily like i bought cool girl first and it's just like a lot browner than pinky and it was just it was really dark but i like using it to outline my lips and then i put child star in the middle I, so my next favorite is the be blonde maximum color toner so i love toning my hair i love actually dyeing my hair at the moment i don't know whether you can tell but it's a lot lighter than like in my last videos Basically, I dyed it platinum blonde. I don't really think it's platinum blonde, but like it is lighter. And then what I use is I use the Be Blonde Silver Toner. So right now, it's I haven't used it. So I'm gonna use this later on. And base to be fair, it lasts like one day, but it literally it does actually work. Like the color actually works. Um, so I recommend getting like two bottles because like they're absolutely tiny. But um, I basically put it all over my hair and then I leave it. I leave it on for like two hours when you're meant to leave it on for half an hour, but I just feel like that makes it work. And then I wash it off and my hair is a lot lighter. It looks so much more gray, um, like silvery. It like tones my hair really well. The only thing is it lasts literally like two washes. So I have a couple skincare products. I have really bad skin. Like I don't know whether you can even tell like on camera, but at the moment my skin is awful. It goes through stages of literally, I don't know what, I think it's called like cystic acne and it's just like loads of bumps. Like they're not even spots, it's just bumps and I get them like on my forehead. They'll come for like a couple weeks and then they'll go and then I'll, I'll have like perfectly clear skin. Like I won't even get like one spot for like a couple months and then it'll literally come back again. And I, uh, it's probably my diet because my diet is really bad. This is what I kind of do to get rid of it. So many of you again like the bumps. Um, what I recommend is the acne side um gel you can get a face wash and a gel i've got both i haven't really used a face wash in a while it um it really really dries your skin out obviously because it's got like benzoyl peroxide which is like it's like proper you have to get this over like um a counter like the pharmacy at boots this is the gel and i feel like this actually does work you have to use this um over a long period of time but a little goes a long way. I thought if I just slapped on loads of this on my skin, it would just get rid of them all overnight, which it really won't. It will just dry your skin out so much. Like, But I have seen an improvement from using this. I don't really use this anymore just because um, I feel like your skin has to be really bad to like use something like this or it literally won't do anything. I have something for like, if you get a couple of like odd spots, this is amazing. Like if you're the type of person that wakes up with like one massive spot, get yourself one of these. This is the Mario Badescu drying lotion so if i feel like a spot coming i'll put like a dot of this on it and i'll wake up the next morning and it will literally be gone like i'm not even kidding my last skincare favorite is the garnier skin skin oh, why can i not speak like i literally have like a speaking difficulty so my next favorite is a garnier moisture bomb tissue mask i use this i've actually used these quite a lot they're like two pounds so this just literally properly moisturizes your skin like it's literally got so many like oil. it just makes your skin feel so good it feels like you've just literally had a facial so my next favorite is a perfume this is actually i don't know what it's called it doesn't even say on it this is the la vie es belle perfume i think it's by lancome i have a problem with perfumes where um they smell so good i buy them i'll use them i'll spray it i'll be like that smells so good i'll walk like one step and it will literally like you can't even smell it i literally want to be one of those people that you walk past and you can literally just smell them and they smell insane and you're like oh my god that person smells good i feel like with every single one of my perfume they literally like don't last like it'll they smell good but they don't last like i want one that's literally so strong on me it lasts forever like i'm yeah i don't really like the smell it's not bad but it's just like it's not my like preference of smell I borrowed my friends ages ago because I wanted to spray perfume. I sprayed it on me. I was like, yeah, it smells quite nice. I could smell it for the whole day, which I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I had a shower, um, washed my hair. Literally two days later, I could still smell it on me. Spray and I'll smell it like two days later after I've had like two showers. It's, that's what I just love in a perfume, how it just lasts. Yeah. So that was my favorite video. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 B